I need you to pinky swear you're going to stay for this because I'm going to blow your mind. You don't really remember this time back here, but you were basically lowjacked into your mom. Your partner in crime down here, the placenta, was like a safe cracker and just gave you free access to everything you needed. And then some. You got a really cushy room in the Hotel Uterati and basically hung out for 40 weeks as a little freeloading parasite. Feeling good about yourself right now, aren't you? Well, here's the thing. You never actually left. Not entirely. Through the amazing properties that fetal stem cells have, you turned your mom into a chimera. What's a chimera, you ask? Well, it is a creature from Greek mythology composed of a lion, a goat, and a snake. In this case, it's you and your mom. Let's say you're a fetus that has Y chromosomes. Some of your fetal stem cells are actually going to make their way across the placenta. And because they're fetal cells, they have not differentiated yet. So as they enter the maternal blood supply, they might end up in the brain where they will convert to neurons or down here in your eye or maybe the lungs or the kidney or the heart. Now, this is where it gets weird, because in some instances, it looks like they may actually offer some repair benefit or healing properties. Meaning that if you have a wound or you break a bone or there's some other damage to tissue in your body, these cells may seek it out and patch it up. And they will basically stay there forever. If you've been here long enough, though, you know there's a butt coming. And that's because in biology, it's very rare to find all good or all bad. And on the bad side of things, your cells can also cross over and trigger autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. This phenomenon does not require that the fetus be carried to full term, which means if you experienced a pregnancy loss or a stillbirth or something like that, a little part of that fetus, that genetic material is still riding around inside of you. And here's the cherry on top. This isn't just a one-way system. It isn't just you doing the giving. You also have some of your host, your mom cells, inside of you. And if you have older siblings, some of their cells may have made it into you as well. Your family on a level you've never fully appreciated.